Hello my friends and greetings sa aking mga Pinoy na kababayan wherever you may be watching this video. So we sailed overnight from um, Fu Mei, Ho Chi Minh to Na Trang and uh, we arrived the next morning. There is usually a procedure because uh, the ship is too big and they don't have any uh, port facilities to accommodate the ship this size. So the passengers who are going sa excursion trips, uh, they sinasakay sa tender. These are the small boats on board the, uh, the cruise ships. They have a very good system on, uh, on uh, allowing the passengers to board the, the tender, depending on your excursion, your schedule of your excursions. So pretty much uh, they had us all gathered at the theater and then when our it's given a number and when your number is called then you are directed to go to the uh, whatever side of the ship they have the stairways to board the, uh, the tender. So here we are, we are all boarded for the uh, tender and it's now leaving the uh, cruise ship. Uh, it takes about, it took about half an hour from the ship to reach the, uh, the, the port, the pier, Sa Natrang uh, side. Uh, the sea is calm, hindi naman malakas ang, ang alon, hindi naman malakas ang hangin. So, we, we had no problem reaching the pier on Natrang. And ito sa mga coming up photos, uh, this is the picture I took from the pier already, looking out on the Natrang Bay, now we're already uh, met, uh, met our uh, tour guide and we're on board the uh, air conditioned motor coach and we're now traveling going to I mean, our first place to visit at some excursion and we're passing this uh, famous Natrang beach on, uh, on the right side. Uh, this, uh, this is the beach capital of Vietnam. During the Vietnam War, the servicemen uh, loved this place. They loved to spend their uh, rest and recuperation and walk and wine dito sa beach nito. And here we're uh, passing some street scenes. The same, marami pa rin mga motorcycles uh, on the road. And uh, as you can see, they're really very proud of, the, of their beach of the, the, the white colored sand, the blue waters, and uh, may mga private beaches, but they have also a beach, a portion of the beach now open to the public. And, and this uh, went on for a few miles. While, you know, I, I wasn't able to find my camera on the left side, Sa left side, nandun yung mga towers, uh, the condos, the hotels, the new hotels, the restaurants. And the, uh, the government still uh, under communists, but they are encouraging uh, investors. And marami na rin ngayon nag invest especially coming from Germany and other European countries. Because uh, they like the weather and they, they like the, the, this beautiful uh, beach. So we're still traveling along the main road parallel sa beach. At ito na yung sinasabi ko mga high-rise uh, buildings on the left side. Uh, during the Vietnam War, uh, they have an army base, army uh, air base. And they're converting it now into an expensive piece of real estate. So here we are, we reached now our first stop, which is the uh, uh, Pagoda. And dito sa pagoda, nandito rin yung mga orphanages. So we're now going to the uh, place, nandun yung mga orphans. Which basically, they, they only showed us the, the school environment ng mga orphanages, ng mga orphans. And some of the people in our group are aware already of these uh, orphanages. And they brought with them uh, some stuff that they give to the kids, toys, candies. Eh, kami hindi naman namin alam eh. Nalaman lang namin during the uh, tour itself. So on, uh, when we leave, we just donated a uh, certain amount of uh, money. 
So ito yung pa, uh, mga pagoda, mga pictures of the pagoda. We had, uh, we had a time to take souvenir photos. And this is now inside the classrooms. Nandito yung mga orphans. And masasaya naman sila. And they, are, they look healthy. They're well fed. Although, you know, you could tell na uh, you could already tell may mga different uh, personalities na mga bata. Meron mga masasayahin. May, may, may react na lulungkot because masyadong maraming tao and they're not used to that. So these are some of the uh, 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 altars, the equipment of their altars sa loob itong uh, pagode area uh, malapit sa mga orphanages. These are small homes donated by people uh, from Australia some other European countries. This is uh, another uh, altar. Uh, we have, we have uh, souvenir photos. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, there are the, the monks uh, the female monks uh, were taking care of these orphans, and uh, they're, it looks like you know they're they're really happy and, and healthy in my kids. From there, we 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 were on our way to our next location, which was uh, I think uh, we're going to to visit uh, a local uh, Vietnamese house. So we pass all these uh, rice fields on the way there and the scene reminds me of the Philippines you know ito, ano, ito we are here already dun sa Vietnamese homes parang open house and it's a very nice house uh, uh, there is a beautiful garden beautiful flowers they have that well uh, which they said they're still using but uh, they have, I guess they have other sources of water too so ito sa loob na nung bahay nung Vietnamese and uh, we see all their decoration, all their altars. And then from there we went to the countryside where ito na nakikita natin na yung mga farmers, they are working on the fields. But actually the tour guide told us that this is just for show. <laughs> whenever they see, uh, they're, they're being paid, you know, to pretend they're working on the fields. So whenever they see a bus coming, they, they <laughs> uh, took their positions and pretending they're cleaning up, the, uh, working on the fields. They have carabaos there. Next, we went to this uh, place where they are making these rice uh, papers. And it's very common in Vietnam, it's on uh, rice uh, uh, papers. Uh, if you're familiar with that, that, sometimes they use that in, ma in making egg rolls, the, the soft one, that was the hard ones. So these are again, again some of the country scenes. And this time, uh, we, we reached the place where we had our lunch. They have uh, Vietnamese food and uh, Vietnamese folk dances again. And what's really nice about this place was, you know, when we arrived, we were given this uh, buku. And, you know, we love buku juice. And uh, you can have one, you can have two, you can have as many as you want. But, uh, and it's nice, you know, because it's hot and you have this cold uh, buku juice. But you know what? To tell you the truth, mas masar pa rin yung buku sa atin sa Pilipinas. They really are sweet and taste better. So these are just some of the scenes inside that place where we had our lives. Well, you know, at uh, uh, the end of the tour, we rode back the tender again, going back to the ship. It's very important that you don't miss the last run of the tender. Otherwise, the ship will leave you. And it's, your, it's all up to you to catch it on the next port. So we had a very nice uh, day. Our discussion went very well.